Hello everyone, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways how to keep your computer awake. So you maybe know when your computer is not being used for a while, it will go into the screensaver mode and eventually it will have a log on screen to ask you to enter username password again or your computer will get into the sleep mode which completely stop all tasks and go into sleep. But if you are downloading some softwares or maybe transferring large files which you want to keep your computer awake for a long time, then you either can change your screensaver settings or change your power settings to make your computer awake for a longer time. But you don't have to change those settings. Actually, you can use some software which I can show you in this video, like Caffeine Auto Mouse Mover, or using a Chrome extension or website to keep your computer awake for a long time. So now let's start it. First, the easiest way to do this is using your system settings to change the screensaver and also change the sleep time settings. So as we can see the screen here, you can put the computer sleep or you can put it never. So you can save the changes, then you should be able to let your computer wake for a much longer time. Also, you may want to disable your screensaver and when you resume it, don't display log on screen so you don't have to enter username and password. In that way, once your settings change it, your computer should be awake for much longer time as you define. But the problem is sometimes your computer has policy to make you not able to change those settings. Then in that case, we're going to have to use some applications to do that. The first tool I would like to introduce is Caffeine, the software developed by Zom Software, this company. You can Google it easily using Caffeine plus keep your computer awake, this keyword, and then you should be able to find it in your top search result. It's a very simple and small tool. Download button. You can directly download it. 300K. The latest version was developed at, on April 2021st, version 1.97. And it, it does has Mac version as well. So you can get it through those links. You don't have to install it as long as you can extract it then you can run it directly by double click the caffeine 64 list application and then you will stay at your taskbar you can right click on it and then you can choose how long you want to active this program running how long you can keep your computer awake for at most is 24 hours. So that's how easy you can use this program. The nice thing for this program is it does has Google Chrome extension, which you can install. I already installed it. Once you did that, you will see caffeine icon on your extensions. Just click on it. You're going to activate it. That's how easy you can use it. So if you don't want to run Caffeine software and you are able to install Chrome extension, that may be the easiest way for you to keep your computer awake. There's a good review, 4.3 out of 5. There are quite some use cases for this extension. I've been using it for a while. It does this job very well. If you haven't tried this program before, just give it a try. You will surprise how well it is working.
if for any reasons your computer is not compatible with caffeine, which caffeine doesn't work well on your computer, you may want to try another software, which I will suggest you to try this auto mouse mover. You can easily search auto mouse mover from the Google search result. The top one is the one we are looking for. You can easily download the standalone application, which doesn't require you to install it. It does mention this is a free trial, but actually when I using it, I, doesn't, I don't see any issues there, so we can use it without any problems. You can double click and extract it. After that, the auto mouse mover configuration window will show up. If you haven't run it before, first time running, you may need to accept the term of the use. But after that, each time when you double click on it, it will show you this configuration window. You just need to save and hide to system try. So then it will run in the background. You can right click on the icon to see more tools. You can launch highlighter, which is a program I use a lot as well, because I sometimes I need to see where is my mouse. So this highlighter can show you the mouse location easily. Other than that, there's other option which you can lock your computer, you can enable screen save, settings, power options, you can configure auto exit, also you can capture screenshot. For this program, it provides much more tools to use, which you may like, but for me, the most important feature is this one. So it will move your mouse 5 pixel every 5 seconds. If you want to try, this is a good program to keep your computer awake. If you really don't like any app running in your background to keep your computer awake, such as Caffeine and Auto Mouse Mover, those kind of programs, then you may want to try this website, keepscreenon.com. Go to the website, just one toggle, and then you can keep your screen on, keep your computer awake all the time. It's a magical website, but actually in the background, it is using this nosleep.js open source project from GitHub to keep your computer awake. Only thing you need to do is keep this tab is visible on your screen, at least partial visible. You don't have to keep it active as long as your other window not fully covered this tab, this page, then this program gonna be running in the background. So you can move it to another screen or you can open other window as long as you keep partial of this web page visible on a the screen then this web page will keep your computer not sleep and on all the time so it's much easy convenient since you don't have to download anything and much safer for your computer if you care about those programming downloaded so that's all for my list video. I introduced a couple of different programs or website to keep your computer on. Just feel free leave your comment to see if it is works for you. Let me know if there's any questions. Other than that, give me a thumb up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I will see you in next video. Thank you.